Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing this lovely morning? Let's say thank you, Lord, for allowing us to wake up and see another day. Today is Sunday, December the 31st, Pisces. It's about to be the big one. All right? New Year's is coming in. And I don't say, what is your New Year reservations? No, 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 no. You should be working on yourself all the time, baby. You hear me? It ain't no one night saying the New Year's reservation. Nobody keeps up with that. Be real and, and be honest with yourself. Work on yourself all the time, okay? Change things about you, all right? And, and things will change in your life. Do you understand? Make sure you got your mind correct, though, and you know what you want. It's the thing is knowing what you want. And I'm going to say something to you. You can, If you got a brain, and everybody in the universe has a brain, okay? That's why you got a brain, all right? And everything you want in your life, and the way that you picture your life to be, you need to see things in reality and get a, 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 a reality check. And if things don't feel right, then it's time to remove them. You don't wait till you say, this is my new year's resolution. You should be knowing that something ain't right. You should be knowing the life that you want to live. All right? You cannot live for someone. You have to live for yourself. Do you understand? Now, if anybody go onto my web page and purchase any one of my items, such as my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, know that Black Magic exists, but it's not all about Black Magic. It's a way that people see you and what people do to you. Believe me, when I tell you envy, jealousy, hate, um, lusting, and all that exists in the world, it does. If you think that this is the darkest, you know, before you transform to the next level in your life, when you pass away, honey, this is what you call hell right here where we are living. Do you understand? This is hell. And hell comes with a lot of devils and envy and jealousy and conniving people around the world. All right? This is where it is, and this is where it ends right here. And after this, you see a lot of levels in your life and that's why they got planets okay this is deeper than you can imagine this is right here this doesn't end it just becomes another part you know people say the world will end no you won't even see the world to end because there always will be another thing another planet all right that's just the way it is the way that is so evil in this world is because we don't see it. it. It can never be nothing because it can never be fixed. But everything you see in the world, the colors, the shapes, what you can feel, that's the way the world is. And that's what it will always be. That's why you see things. That's why you can imagine how you want your life to be. Because you got a brain. But reality is that nothing changes in the world. This is hell. This is what we call hell. And it's many layers, many layers to what the universe has or will always be. Layers after layers. But this is the dark hole. It's where you live. Where you get a chance to experience what what life really is and what you can make your life to be. God gives you an opportunity to see this world before you come into the light. And he always gives you a chance to visit this world again. And that you can see it from many different shapes. Your eyes become a camera you can see perfectly clear and you must believe what I tell you I'm very deep when it comes to my spirituality and that's what I live for I live to see I live to see what a waste for me and I'm not afraid to live it because I know there's a beam and it's many levels to what your life will be. And not on this planet. When you see the light and you meet up with this light. And people say, 
They're afraid to see the light, but we will all see it. And you go into different levels, many levels. And you visit. But while you're here in this evil world that exists and that you walk it and you see it every day, learn to make a change in your life. Because everything that glitter is in gold. And everything that people offer you, you pay the price for it. Nothing is free in this life. Nothing. Whether you think you got the best thing in the world that could ever happen to you, after going through so much in your life, nothing in the world is gold. Everything is a delusional that we see and we strive to have, but we pay the biggest price for whatever it is that we want. But when you love yourself and you commit to yourself and you vow to yourself, that's when you can learn to live in this dark world. And this is what this is about. Learning to live in this dark world dark world. The abundant prosperity, healing, growth, wealth, fertility, and nurture candle is this candle, and it's the green candle. And this is everything that you see. Everything that you feel. And everything that you may want in your life. The love yourself candle is the beam that lies within you. And that's what you are born with. And it's up to you to keep your light lit. And when you bring your light, that lantern, into your heart, that's when you become the one. And I'm not saying the one to walk around. That's when you meet your soul. And you need to meet your soul before you leave here. You feel pain, you feel it all, right? And then people get sick and they say, you know, they feel the pain. I mean, let me tell you, this life in this world right here, this is what you call the piercing in your hands and the crucifying yourself and people crucifying you because you're wandering in this world lost. And looking for that pot of happiness and gold. And like I said, you will always pay a price for it. Always. Because what you're chasing is yourself. And it's called self-love. The justice candle is where all things... All things will be balanced. It's called karma. It's what you put out. Is what you're going to get. It's called fairness. If you go to court. Somebody's going to win. And somebody's going to lose. And one thing I'm going to tell you Pisces. You never get it all. You never get it all. You may think you get 100%, but you don't. You get 50-50. Somebody's going to get paid. And that's why they got lawyers. You think you get it all? No, they get that share cut on what you're going to get. And whatever it is that you're going to court for, there's a 50-50, whether you know it or not. Okay? And I always light the justice candle because I believe in justice. I believe in being fair. And it took me many years to get to where I'm at. I was not always the way I'm at. 
But I've been working and studying myself, not studying my heart, not studying my brain, not studying what I want in a human. I study myself because I got to give it to me. And I ask God to always teach me about the light that lives within myself. And I love myself more than you will ever know. I learn what it really is to live on this planet. You want to do research? You want to know what love is? You want to find your match? You are your match. You are love. And can't nobody love you in this world like you. You better look at it as a funeral. You better think about it when you go to funerals. You go to funeral today, tomorrow, you've forgotten. You may cry tears about someone that passed away, but it's long gone forgotten. And we all going to go in there. So you better love yourself and honor yourself and respect yourself. And that's what my channel is all about. It's called Respect. The sage in Apollo Santo. When you sage, open up the windows and let air out. Everything is in there. No one has a perfect home. You walk in and out every day. You collect other people's energy. And if you sleep with people, that person may sleep with others. But remember, you don't escape energy. The red brick dust is where you put in front of your house, your doorways, and make a circle around you to protect yourself. I don't go to church. This is my way of life. What is your way? What do you believe in? My oils come in dry form, and it comes in every kind that you can imagine and have. The walnut is where you work with your shadow, your dark side, and I tell you all the time. Work with your shadow, because this is where you live. See this here? This is how it is to live here on this earth. So you need to work with the darkness. So that you can learn to see the light. And the light is inside of you. And that lantern that you're carrying outside. Is what you need to bring inside of yourself. My crystals and stones come in every short form of way. And what it is, it plays a part at every beam in your body. My evil eye is what I'm big on. I got Jonah Art and Art Michael, and I die by the sword. That's who I am. My detox saw is cave saw. It's not Epsom saw. Try it. If you never tried anything, you try my salt bath. And this is what I am known for. It. And you hear it. Okay? My stuff ain't no powder salt. It's real salt. I also have herb in the bag. All right? So you decide on what it is. If you get a reading from me, you get it the same day or the day after Pisces. Know your spirituality. Get with your spiritual beings. All right? Every Bible in a church, every church it is, every religion in the world, people are going to teach you what they want to teach you. Everybody has a verse, a way they see things in the Bible. Learn to be your own Bible. And no one has to teach you what is right and wrong. You should know what is right and wrong. 
No church teaches you to work within your bitter self. You have to. Okay? You must work within yourself. And there's many levels to the universe. Many levels. But this is the level that you start right here. In this dark hole. This is the dungeon. And this is where you are tested. Your faith and your belief and your love within yourself. Try to love yourself the way you love. And you give up everything for your kids. For people that you sleep with. Try to love yourself the way you love. What your treasuries are in the world. And you will see a change in your life. You can't be afraid to let go of what you can't take. Happy New Year's to all Pisces. The New Year's is coming in. Happy New Year's. Tonight is the countdown, Pisces. Do you understand? Go outside. Do your countdown outside. Count it down with the universe. Look straight up in the sky and open up your hands. That's who you need to be counting on. Make a vow to the universe how much you will love yourself and you will honor yourself. And you will respect yourself. And you will not hand your body from hand to hand like if you are a piece of meat or your heart. Give everything you got to the heavens. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit got me to do this reading. Got me to do this reading. Guide me to speak the truth. Show me the light, the way. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jonah, Art, and Art Michael. Help me do this reading. Guide me to do the reading. You got the seven of pentacles. And with the seven of pentacles came out the queen of pentacles. This is beautiful, Pisces. And this is how your reading starts. You've been working. You've been saving. You've been trying to really build your thing. You've been planting your seeds. Because you want to see your fruits of your labor. You work hard for what you have. Nothing comes easy. But it's your time to shine, Pisces. It's your time to get them coins. And it seems like it's all green. You have love for many things. And you have love for your kids. And you work and you try to help everybody. And you're there for everybody. But you got to take care of yourself. Everybody, whether you know it or not. They're going to take care of themselves. They will. But you got to give them an opportunity to do it. You can give them all the advice that you want as the queen of pentacles. You can put all the money in their hands. You can buy them everything they want. But do they really appreciate all the things that you do? And how hard you work to make sure they have. You have planted many seeds. And now you see it all ready to be picked. And that's exactly what you did. You planted your seed with intents to be able to eat off of it. 
to be able to live comfortable, to be successful. And in a mix of doing all of that, you still take care of many. And it seems like it's on your back. But you also got to let people know the value of who you are. The more you give, the more they will want. As a pinnacles, you got to bring boundaries into your life. You can't work, kill yourself, take care of yourself, and take care of everybody else. Remember I said, you only got one life to live. And somebody here is about their money. Somebody here is about ending shit with new beginnings. Okay? Somebody may be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or somebody may be dealing with a Scorpio here. Okay? But this is death. And with death comes beginning. Okay, this is something that ended or needs to end. Let me tell you, Pisces, you got to remember one thing. You planted your seeds with the intentions to live off of it, to take care of yourself. You are the queen of pentacles. And that means you the one that hold it down. But it's something here that has to end in order for something new to begin. And after death, there's always another level to life. But it's something here that you must end to gain what you want. It's got to end. And I don't know if this is a marriage. I don't know what it is. But I know one thing for sure. Or it's got to be where I'm done giving and giving and giving. I'm done wanting to help, help, help. I'm done. It's too much on me. When would it end? Well, it's about to end. And someone will feel it. They will feel the loss. Because when they have it good, they don't realize how good they have it until they don't have it anymore. And that's what happens when we lose. When we lose people we love, people pass away. People leave you. You leave things behind to make room for the new. To five of pinnacles, does someone feel like they've been left out of this money? Was it a death? Is someone battling a court? Does someone feel like Whatever was supposed to be left it wasn't no giving you. It's something that feels like someone has been left out of some type of financial situation or there's an ending here to this Feeling like I didn't get my money. Okay? It's an ending to a death that you didn't get what you were supposed to get. You work hard for this. Nothing was easy. It's like whatever job you have or what you're doing or what you planted. You work hard, honey. Somebody may 
be a nurse. Someone may see a passing of people or someone that met something or someone was supposed to give you something or somebody was supposed to leave you something. But it seems like you didn't get what you were supposed to get or you fighting for what is yours. But there's an ending to this. Sacrificing, begging, waiting on your money, asking for money. There's an ending to this. There is an ending. It's like, why do you have to go through so much? Why? But if someone here feels like, I work hard. I always stay a step ahead, but I work hard. And you're dealing with some type of Scorpio here, some type of death. And when you're dealing with death, it's a lot to deal with. And on top of the death, feeling like, wow, this is crazy how. I'm left with nothing. I'm left to fight for what is mine. I don't deserve to be left out here like this. But there's the ending. And whatever ended, you feel like you was left out. Like you wasn't a part of it. Like they didn't make you a part of it. Like you was cast off. What a major transformation this can be. On top of losing, on top of doing the work and losing, left to fend for yourself, left to start over. That could be devastating. Pisces, I keep telling you this world is dark and mean. And sometimes the people you trust the most, they're the people that stab you in your back. Are you a nurse? Are you a healer? Do you work around people in need? Look at you, alone, to think about everything. All the work we put into people. Do you work as a nurse? Do you work taking care of people? Did you have a child that was disabled? Do you feel like this is a lot? Pisces, you're the strongest people in the world. And you have carried the cross and you have been through hell and back. And this is hell. You work hard, baby. You see a lot of things. You're there to help everyone. And everyone leans on you. But who do you have to lean on? Who do you lean on at the end of the day? Do you have somebody in your life that's sick? <laughs> do you know? 
what is in somebody's will. <coughs> Sometimes we think we know everything. But when shit happens and shit hits the fan, it's not what we thought it was. Tell me more about this Seven of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles. Pisces, you have built a lot for yourself. But boy, did you, you went on a ride here. Tell me more, spirit. Baby, you came out with the Queen of Pentacles twice. That means that you are huge. That means that you can withstand anything that comes towards you. That means that you are like a celebrity to people. All right? People see you, and you know what they see? They see money. When they see you, they see that you are together. They see that they want what you got. They see that you have it all. They come to you with knees. They come to you with their ideas because they know. That you can put anything and everything together. They see you like Bank of America. They see that you are strong and if you can withstand any storm that you come against. You're huge, Pisces. You like a celebrity. You may have some type of platform. Maybe you are on TV. Maybe you know a lot of people, big people. But you around a lot of beautiful people that look at you like you are on some stage. Like you're glamorous. Like you the shit. And because people see you like this. Because people think and see you in a way. That's why they think that you can withstand anything that goes show anything. When I tell you anything, this person, whoever these people are, they feel like you can withstand any fucking thing because they look at you like you are the shit. Like you holding it all together. Pisces, it's like you're beautiful, you're elegant. It's like you are so fucking in your and you're beautiful. It's like it's not just the outside of you, it's the inside of you that makes you beautiful. Tell me more about this death. Now listen to this death. Listen to the death. You get the ten of swords. And the death means. You must let go to transformate your life because this here is not a good thing. This is when someone tears you down, speaks you down, rips you apart. It's like they talk about you. They say bad things to you. They put bad things out there about you. They, You look at the social media, you look at the uh, a, a computer, and then you sit there and you look because you know. Look at this. Just If you can see all the things that they say, listen to me. You ready? These, this is how people talk about you or they say things to you. This is what they say. You trash. You are just crazy. This is how they talk about you. Shut up. Stop begging and boring me. You, it's like you bore this person, right? Stupid. And you so ugly. It's like somebody really talks bad about you. Okay? You can't do anything. Why are you so lazy? Worthless. You will never get it. To death. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. To death. This is when someone can torture your fucking ass. To no end. And this is how they make you feel. Like you being stabbed in your back. And left for dead. And left for dead. Right? Now, with that comes jealousy, envy, not wanting for you, not want the best for you, sleeping with the enemy, living with enemies, being around people that don't wish you well, that wish you was dead, that, that, that wish you was gone, that feel that you're not worthy of anything. See, when you're around somebody like this, your self-esteems go down. That's how, that's, it's like they try to break you. It's like they try to look better than you or they try to make themselves look better and they try to make you look like you are the worst person in the world to deal with or have anything going on with. And this is how this person looks at you. And this person may not be saying this to your face. Maybe they go around telling people this. Okay? This is the way they speak to you. This is what the way they speak about you. Okay? But in reality, you have it all. It's like somebody can put you down because they don't want to see you rise. Or they feel like you think you're better than them. Or you tell somebody, listen, honey, you need to get your life together. It's something here that needs to be done with. Because it's not good for your health. It's not good for your for no, no parts of you. It's like somebody feels like you don't do anything. All right? Like you don't put the work in. Right? Like, no matter how much you bring or how much you have, it's like you they don't see you like, like you're worth it. Like you went through a lot. And worse is worse than somebody beat your ass. Worse is worse than someone literally doing you harm. Tell me more. It's like somebody here is, I don't know, Pisces. I don't know if this is you feeling like this is somebody in your life or they feeling like this is you in their life. Okay. Maybe you feel like you're the one that's doing everything. And, and you feel like this person is not built in with you. But just not doing nothing. It's like somebody living with you or living around you that's damn near dead. Like it, it, they don't even exist, but they're there. Okay. And let me tell you, Pisces, whatever it is, it's about your money. It's about, you know, like maybe you feel like if you walk away from a person or you feel like this person ain't giving you shit. It's like literally you taking care of yourself, but you may think people, it's like people think that someone is doing for you, but you, or people may feel like somebody's sitting you in a paddle store or somebody's, this is your life. Like, you're nothing without this person, or this person is making you look glamorous. Like, people look at someone that's taking care of you or, or putting a front. 
Okay? But really, this person ain't doing shit. Ain't doing shit. It's like you work for your own money. Like you bring your own shit in. Like, but people got it fucked up and twisted. You know? People, it's like when I was living this drug life and I was with her, we both was living very high. And before I met him, I was living like this. And then the streets thought that this man was taking care of me and I, he wasn't taking care of my motherfucking ass. I was taking care of myself. All right? If he was taking so much care of me, I wouldn't have done time. You understand? But in people's eyes, oh, he's giving her everything. She got everything and she did and that. Her fur coats and her cards and the way. No, 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 baby. I was fucking out there working my ass off. I worked a real job and I fucking hustled. Yes. And when it was time, he gave me his ass to kiss. And, let, and, and then guess what? Then people seen it for what it was. Because you didn't stop my show. I still rise. I still am the person that I am. You didn't do nothing to me. It's like somebody here feels like, um, it's time for me to get the hell out of here because I ain't getting shit. Not a damn thing. I ain't getting shit. Not a damn thing. All right? It's like, you not giving me a damn thing, honey. Not a fucking thing. You don't do shit for me. The only thing you do for me is drive me motherfucking crazy. It's just another damn child. If it is a grown man or whatever it is in your life, it's another thing that you take care of it, but they swear that they giving you the world ain't giving you shit. And what you do is you get the fuck out of there. You say, I got to leave. I got to go with, I can be calm and I can have a peace of mind. This is when you feel like, what the fuck? If, if, if I can't get shit from this place, let me get the fuck out of here. Let me go somewhere where I can be at peace with myself. Right? Let me move on. Let me go. It's like Pisces. This is bad when no matter what you do, it's not good enough for a person. And they tear your ass down behind your back. It's like you may think, oh, no, but this person is ripping your ass up. And what do you get? Nothing. Nothing. It's like you're walking on eggshell when you know good and damn well I work hard for my motherfucking money. I can go and get anything the fuck I want. But I got to sit here walking on air show, having somebody talking shit all the damn time. Clocking what I'm doing. But you ain't giving me shit. Not a damn thing. Maybe when we met you did, but not shit. I ain't, you ain't giving me a damn thing. I can't remember the last time I, I could say, you know, shit was putting my money. Everything I got, everything I have, I fucking work. You might have got this damn root, but this shit, this motherfucker came down. I got to start over. But I, I'm the head and I, I just cannot deal with it. it it's like I want to just give you your shit and get the fuck out of here. And not even look back because you're not giving me shit. And that's exactly how you feel. Like, I, I ain't getting shit out of this deal. What the fuck? Damn. Like, oh, you know, somebody here is like, shit, I can't wait till none of this shit end. I cannot wait till this shit ends. It's like, shit, I'm happy as fuck. When this shit is in, all my motherfucking shit is going out the door with the motherfucker. Okay? When when the death is over, it's over. It ain't shit you can bring back together. Because like I said, somebody don't even have to put their hands on you. But the way they talk, 
is enough to crucify your ass. And on top of that, you want to talk? You want to put me out the street like I ain't shit? You want to stab me in my back and leave me for dead? You got, honey, you got death and you got the ten of swords. If that ain't speaking of fucking death, I don't know what it's speaking of. Because the ten of swords is when somebody is done and you got enough stabs on your back and you been fucking left for dead, damn it. The card says death. And then you got the ten of swords left for dead. Do you understand what death left for dead means? Do you understand what means done? Do you understand? Because that's what's in the middle of your card. The Ten of Swords. Means like, I'm fucking done with this shit. There ain't nothing else to deal with. This is crazy. And it shows that you work hard, Pisces. You got your own shit. Who's the celebrity here? You mad because I'm the celebrity? You mad because I got my shit popping and what? And then you mad because you ain't doing shit? And then you want to talk shit? What? Talk shit? I'm getting a fuck out of this bitch. <coughs> because that ain't shit here worth staying. What love's got to do with a motherfucking thing? You understand? Like Pisces, honey, you damn sure saying you leaving somebody standing in the door and get your shit and get the fuck out of Dodge. You like shit. If I ain't getting no money, I got to get the fuck out of here. If you leaving me out in the cold like I ain't getting shit, like you want to act like, you know, you doing shit and got be talking shit on top of that, honey, please, you got to be out of your damn mind. You can go ahead and call me what the fuck you want. One thing I'm going to tell you something right now. You can be in a situation where your body is there, but your mind is somewhere else, honey. Like, shit, people think, oh, I, I, I'm with you, but uh, you think you got my body because I'm standing here, baby. I am, my whole inner self is somewhere else. It damn sure ain't here. All right? People really think that they can have you the way they want. But it's like you fucking going like your, your ass is the fuck out of there. Right? I could do bad by myself. When I say everything that glitter isn't gold, didn't I tell you that you was always a celebrity before you met motherfuckers? Okay? They didn't make you. If anything, they broke your motherfucking ass down. That's what they did. They taught you a lesson. Then guess what? It don't matter how much somebody got. No matter how much they got. Once they get you with how they want you. Right? Then you're going to know not only is all what they had that you thought they had. That you thought they was going to treat you like a queen bee and all this shit. Baby girl shit. The shit turn around. You ain't got shit because they ain't giving you shit. But the world thinks that everything they got is everything you're getting. And that's a fucking lie. That's a damn lie. They done stabbed you in your back so many times. They done left you for dead, honey. They just wish you'd be fucking gone. All right? Tell me more. The Knight of Pentacles, just look at this shit here. Look, look at this person. Does this person look like they're happy? Does it look like they fucking happy? Or does it look like they got to win? You got to make it to the other side of the court. But you got to see how you're going to get around to shoot that basket. Because you got people blocking you. People don't want to make sure you don't get to that basket and, and make that point. And win and score, right? So you think it. Because see, the Knight of Pentacles takes action. But the only Knight that don't move is the Knight of Pentacles. Because you got to make sure how they move when it comes to their money. That's 
where you at. You're like, shit, I got all these people in front of me trying to block me from making that point. But I got to know how I'm going to move around this to get there to get what I need to get. Because I'm a score, baby. I got this master plan, honey. I'm, I'm going to get it. And that's how you are. You say, I'm going to get it. And I don't got to rush to get there. Because I got this ball. And no matter how many people are trying to, you know, hold me back and trying to get this damn ball for me. Like you balling, honey. They trying to get that ball because they want to they wanna grab that ball. They want to grab your coins. But you said, no. Mm -mm. I'm going to mastermind this. And I'm a, honey, it's like you got a plan to execute shit. And you're going to make it to that basket. All right? And that's exactly what you're doing. You're fighting your way to get to that basket. And you got people in front of you trying to get that money from you. Trying to block you from it. But you got a plan B that you got that you're going to execute it. Right? They may think that you're going for that basket. You might throw the ball right there and get that three-pointer, baby. Right? It's all or nothing you said. You said, I'm going for all of it. And I'm not letting nobody block me. Because I got a plan here to execute this shit. It's my fucking money and I'm going to fight for this bitch. I ain't mad at your ass. I'm proud of you. Right? I'm proud of you, Pisces. It's like you've been doing this plan for a long time, Pisces. You've been planning how you're going to mastermind this shit. Because it's do or die. It's either me or you. And it's you going against a team here, damn it. A team. Right? You got the ball in your hand. The ball is in your court. What you going to do? Are you going to make it? You better mastermind. You better take action. But you better know what you're doing. All right? <clears throat> Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. What is this death and this Ten of Swords doing here? What is this death and this Ten of Swords doing here? What is this death and this Ten of Swords doing here? What is this death and this Ten of Swords doing here? What is this death and this Ten of Swords doing here? The Page of Swords. It's an idea. It's something that you're coming up with that you're going to know how to do this. It's a new beginning. It's a new way of thinking. The death endings. Something has to end. The Ten of Swords is taking all the swords that you've been through. The words, the, how people treat you, how they talk about you. But you're coming up with something here. And it's something new. It's something exciting. Right, it's a way of thinking, it's a way of cutting things. It's like you, it's like somebody here can be real cutthroat. This can be a child that's very cutthroat. This can be somebody that talks smart. This can be one of the smartest kids in the world, honey. Somebody knows how to say things and get to you and do things to you. Somebody's always planning ahead, right? Somebody's coming with a way of an idea of doing something. You know, taking some of these, uh, you know, these, whatever it is, is something that was buried on your back. Right? It's a lot of swords. It's a lot of pain here in your back. It's like they want to make sure. It's like a death here. Like somebody's wishing you are death. All right? And somebody's like saying they wish you was gone. Right? They just wish that this is done with. But whatever it is. It may be a daughter. It's something here that's just, a, they do a lot of thinking, 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 right? They feel like they've been stabbed many times, you know? It feels like it's death around them. But they got a plan here to execute it. And it's a new way of doing something. It's like somebody's coming into an idea. And I'm going to say it again, Pisces. Listen to me. And you better listen to me. There's an ending here. 
And with this ending, you got to end it. And it's a lot of stab wounds on your back. But it's an idea here of somebody doing something. And this can be very dangerous. And it can be nasty. And it can be evil. Okay? It's like somebody's planning something. A death. Alright? Somebody just wants to end it. Right? Want to end you. Alright? Want to end the situation. Or wishing you death. Or something here that passed away that... It's just tormenting somebody. It's just like it torments someone here. It may be torment a child. All right? It's something that's very devastating and it doesn't look good. All right? Tell me more about this being left out in the cold and walking away from this to calmer waters. Like leaving something. I don't know. if they leave the house? Did they feel like they didn't get what they want? Listen to me. Again, the Ten of Swords. This is deep, Pisces. I'm trying to tell you this is fucking deep. Somebody feels like they've been left out in the cold. They don't, they, they, they didn't get what they were supposed to get. They left the house. They moved on. But it's like this feeling that they feel like they lost out on something. Like they, it's like somebody been thrown out. Been like been put out. Right? I don't know what the hell this is, but somebody feel like they've been left out of money or been put out of something or don't belong in something, all right? But it's like moving on, like I, I'm out of this place now, I feel better, even though I may not have shit, but I'm out of this place, I feel like I can be in a better place, but they cannot stop thinking, they can't stop thinking of all the abuse and everything they've been through, and that's not fucking good, all right? That's not good. Somebody just lays there and think about every fucking thing that they've been through. Okay? Everything. Right? It's like, I don't give a fuck where the calmness is coming from. This person cannot stop thinking about how fucked up it was. Right? Pisces. Again, you got the same card here. The same exact car, being left out in the cold, you got it again. Being put the fuck out. Okay? But at the end of everything, Pisces, the sun shines. The birth starts all over again. All right? You're going to be fine. Or whoever this is, everything's going to work out. You may think that it's not, but it is. You got to believe it, Pisces. And I don't know what it is. And I don't know why it's so much hate and envy and jealousy in the world. But you get everything you want, Pisces. And it may be devastated in everything you've been through in your life. But you've been through hell and back. And you got many pages to turn. Many more pages to turn. The New Year's is coming. And you get nothing but happiness, fulfillment. The sun is going to shine at the end of this chaos. But you got somebody here wishes you death. And wishes your downfall. And wishes that you can't get up. And they don't want to see you move. They don't want to see you rise. They want to see you fall. And I don't know if you have a child in your life. This is very vindictive. Or somebody young. Or you seeing somebody young. Or it's something in your life that is not worth having. They want to see you fall. I don't know if somebody moved out. I don't know if somebody's moving out. You put somebody out. But somebody here feels abandoned. And left out of everything. Pisces. If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. But this is very deep. And you better open up your eyes to see what is in front of you. 
And never turn your back on no one because you don't never know what they got planned on your ass. And don't you ever trust the most people that you love are the ones that will stab you in your back and leave you for dead and will plan your death. Do you understand? You be careful. I'll talk to you later, Pisces. Bye-bye.